Okay. Up until October 6, I was just another student in Berkeley. My family in Israel, just one of many families living in small towns near the border between Israel and Gaza. People in these areas live a peaceful life. Does it grow crop? Can you hear me now? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So I'm speaking about my family and where they live. They live in a peaceful place. They grow crops, milk cows, celebrate the holidays. Every one of you living in California, I'm sure you know many similar agricultural towns with a tight community of hardworking families just like mine. This peaceful life abruptly came to a tragic end on October 7th. Early that morning, we began to receive alarming text messages. I want to read you now a few messages that were sent by my sister-in-law, Ramon. Um, 6.45 a.m. There are non-stop rockets firing at us. I've never heard so many rockets shooting at us before. For the first time, I'm afraid. 6.48 a.m. I hear gunshots all around me. The terrorists entered our kibbutz. 7.20 a.m. There are two armed terrorists on our lawn. They are shooting. 7.30 a.m. We are surrounded. 8 a.m. I hear gunshots and blasts. There's a fire outside my house. 8.26 a.m. We are lying on the floor and hiding. They are shooting at me, Mom. 8.29 a.m. I love you. I love you, Mom. These are the last words we heard from Ramon and her husband, Yegev. After the IDF regained control of Kibbutz Nirim, my remaining family tried to look for Ramon and Yegev. Their house was full of bullet holes and blood, but there was no sign of them. It took a full week until we were officially notified by the Israeli Defense Forces that they are in Gaza. We still do not know if they are, heard, if they are held by the terror organization Hamas or the Islamic Jihad. We do not know if they are receiving medical attention for their injuries. We do not know if they are dead or alive. This fight, it's not just my fight. This is a fight for people that want to go to work without being afraid that someone will enter the building and try to murder them. This is a fight for people who want to be able to put their children to bed at night and know that they can wake them up in the morning. This fight is everyone's fight. Bring them home. Bring them home. Bring them home. Today, I ask you, and I know you are, I know you are here, join this fight to release those who were kidnapped. There is so much you all can do. You are here now. You can send, sorry, you can write to your congressperson, to your senators, you can demand the Red Cross will be allowed to examine our loved ones who were brutally kidnapped from their homes. Ramon and Yegev are my age. They just got married. Their entire life is ahead of them. They have me, they have sisters, brothers, mothers, fathers. We cannot breed until we know they are safe. I want you to look at me. I see their faces every single moment. If you can, take out your cameras right now. Take, take a look at the picture. Take, take a picture of them. Share it everywhere you can. Don't let them be forgotten. 
bring them home. Bring them home. Bring 